compensate the obvious, and yes, fishmongers do sell fish, but the point for me is that they will do all the fiddly jobs that I can't do. I mean, I'm not just buying their produce, you know, fabulous though it is, I'm buying their expertise, because, you know, in cooking, you just have to stack the odds in your favour. So if someone else is going to do all the hard work for you, well, frankly, you're just taking the stress out of the kitchen. Look, I do understand that the idea of making a crab sauce of pasta sounds incredibly involved, not to say fancy, but you're just going to have to believe me when I say that it's about as simple as making you know, spaghetti with tomato sauce that you might do every day for the kids to tea. Look, my lovely crab. Now, culinary weapon of choice here. <laughs> I can lift it down. My pestle and mortar. Well, this takes no time, so I'm going to get the water on now. It should anyway be boiled from the kettle. Huge pan. Always makes it better with pasta to use as much water as you can. Not least because the temperature won't sink as much when you add the pasta. Right. Time for a bit of upper body workout, so I'm going to get rid of this. Garlic first. I mean, this pasta sauce needs to be very garlicky. Let's peel them. Okay. Now a bit of salt, about a tablespoonful. I mean, this sort of amount, small handful. And I'm just going to pulverize the garlic to a wonderfully sort of dense, sticky puree. Right, so I've got the wonderful sort of deep heat of the garlic, and now I want the sort of fiery spikiness of some red chilli in the... I don't know whether this is the pestle or this is the mortar. I'm presuming that this is the mortar and this is the pestle. Don't write in. Okay, in they go, and these wonderful sort of clumps of red are going to be pounded to a sort of coral sunset paste. I must say, I do like any form of kitchen activity which sort of demands work that doesn't need any dexterity, and this about sums it up. Now, get the pasta in. I use linguine, which I suppose in a way is like a cross between spaghetti and tagliatelle, slightly wider, but also wonderfully dense, which makes it a great vehicle to carry the sauce. Now, the main event. This is about 100 grams of brown crab meat and about twice that, so 200 of white. Okay, just fork through. And now some olive oil, about 125 milliliters. I find that easier to use than American half cup measure. Mm. Right, lemon. A lot of zest as well as juice, just because I want this to be really quite definitely lemony. I mean, not a strange...